G'day all. It's hours away to the Murray Cod season, the most exciting time of the year. After a three month break, we're looking at chasing the big green fish again. I'm gonna run you through some of my gear, how I prepare, and it's only hours away now, so hopefully we can all start with a nice big Murray Cod to open up the season. Okay, one of the most important things is having a big net ready to go and try and keep those fish in the water. So I've got my Gaffman net here. It's had hundreds of big cod in it. It's still survived. Let's bring this hunk over. But as you can see, she's a bit big. So prepare with a big net, particularly when you're in a boat or a watercraft, and cover that fish with a towel. Make sure when it's sitting there, it's as comfortable as possible and then you can get ready for your photos or your video before lifting that fish out of the water. So that's imperative. Fish care, picking up the fish, not by the jaw, cut, cuddling it basically, and ensuring that you're lifting that weight nice and evenly. And don't leave the fish out of the water. More than you can hold your breath is just the general sense. So let's get into the box. This is my cod gear ready to go. So we've got some measuring apparatuses here, brag mat, tape measures, that sort of stuff set of cutting pliers you never know when you need to cut a hook from a fish or yourself uh, some hook extractors just in case the fish take it down deep set of pliers obviously and this bad boy here is just pre-rigged ready to go hooks and bits and pieces making sure that you have everything ready before you get out there so you can spend most of the time fishing obviously gloves here cod have serrated teeth and they can really cut you up and now let's get into the line so i prefer to use suffolk super 21 fc really really good fluorocarbon thin diameter strong knot tying and really really good abrasion resistance anywhere from 20 pound for the yellow belly all the way up to 40 50 60 pound that's what i sort of go for for those bigger fish some spare split rings making things a bit stronger and then if you're going to weigh the fish properly in the net and then let's move on to the lures okay we've got some spinner baits here various spinner baits really big large and in charge got some surface lures some blue frogs and some surface paddlers then we got some plastics here so with RIP shad one of my go-to's in terms of a plastic for Murray Cod, various colours, beetle spins and that sort of stuff, just to bling it up a little bit. We've got the Rapala Rip and Wrap Lipless Crankbaits, one of my go-to's. As you can see, I've got a fair few of this particular colour. This absolutely kills it. But I like to trick it up, or trick them up with some um, VMC assist hooks. Really, really um, good option for vertical working for the fish and just working the bottom and just not getting hooked up as much um, Various colors here as you can see moving on to some of the bigger stuff. We've got the Rapala pedo um, In the smaller size and the big size many different colors. They're ready to get chomped um, and then we also got some um, Other big boys here. So we got some big hard bodies some smaller hard bodies you know, resemble red fin color and a few stripe colors there as well. And then we've also got some spoons and some natural yabby presentations there too. We've also got some swim baits as well. So we've got the storm glide baits as well as the, the swimmer. I've caught some big cod on these last season. And then also you have some smaller stuff here. So you've got uh, some Storm SX Soft Vibes, which are a great option when the fishing is a little bit slow. Murray Cod as well as Golden Perch, the biggest sizes, obviously that's what we're targeting. And then we've also got some soft plastics if you want to downsize here. So um, sometimes elephants eat peanuts and that's the same thing with fish. So having a smorgasbord of lures as we've just gone through, um, having many options available to you, working out what the fish want for that particular day um, because it can change just on a, on a dime and that's what it was like last season just really preparing with um, everything pre-season getting yourself ready and now let's move on to the rod aspect let's take a closer look at the rod reels and even line so these two here are the powerhouses so these are the two muse blacks so these are the swim bait rods extremely powerful and really long rods at 
just under eight feet. Got the Concept TX3 swim bait reel and the Concept A3 here. Just absolute powerhouses with 40 pounds of drag. It's just incredible. Um, and I've got Suffolk 832 on both of them. I've got 80 pound on here, which some people say is a bit too much, but trust me, when you're chasing those absolute beasts, um, you want as much as you can get. And it's really good because it's got a thin diameter, extremely powerful and really strong abrasion resistance. So it's perfect for cod fishing. And my go-to, this one's got the 50 pound on it and primarily, swim bait sort of stuff so they're really really big stuff that you need the confidence in your line and your rod just to get it out there and then i've got my two medium size setups here which is basically um, my muse here and my storm gamoku azura and this is my vertical application so my jigging stick which i'll use on my lipless crankbaits and that sort of stuff um, and then here we've got um, again lipless crankbait fishing um, bibbed crankbaits as well more of your medium to slightly larger application i've got 30 pound on this one so this is my lightest cod setup and then 40 pound on this one um, and then we've also got um, the rapala rapalero rod here this is one of my all-time favorite rods it's at a perfect length of seven foot and um, i've got that paired with 50 pounds so this is more for my surface lure types um, fishing as well as um, that slightly larger or down to medium size lures so my storm rop shads um, that are rig up on a jig head um, it's perfect for flinging these out there when you want a little bit of bounce on that rod tip and then i've got my omen black here which is my um, spin setup and my only spin setup it's got 20 pound suffix 131 on it um, it is just as a going down trying to catch a golden perch or two that might be mixed in with those cod but also making sure that it's 20 pounds so just in case you get something bigger that does grab it you've got a little bit of pulling power obviously not enough for some of those really big fish but better than your classic 10 pound setup if you're going your smaller soft plastics and that sort of stuff to target some of the fish that might be a bit spooky um, so my three lines basically or my couple lines are the sfx um, which is the 4X and the 8X. I've got the 8X on here. And then, um, like I said, the suffix 832. So you want a line that's going to give you that power. And you really want to use a line that um, gives you the best chance of landing those really big fish. And for me, I've been fishing suffix 832 for a very long time. And um, by far for me, I find it the best for my application. There you have it all. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that gave you a few tips. Let's get out there, open the season with a nice big Murray Cod.